Stayallday.com. But let's talk about self-consciousness. All of us have dealt with self-consciousness before. We don't really like the feeling of being self-conscious because self-consciousness means we're thinking all about ourselves, what other people think of us. We're concerned what other people's judgments are. And usually self-consciousness just slows us down. When you're self-conscious, you're slowed down because instead of focusing on the task at hand, whatever it happens to be, you focus on what are people thinking about me? Is anybody noticing me? You know, am I too tall? Am I too short? Am I too black? Am I too white? Am I too skinny? Am I too fat? Am I doing this well? Am I not doing it? Is somebody laughing at me? You hear somebody laughing, you wonder if they're laughing about you, and it slows you down from doing your job. So I'm gonna give you three ways that you can get rid of self-consciousness for the rest of your life. Here's the number one thing you gotta understand. Boldness, the feeling of being bold, B-O-L-D, is an outwardly directed energy. Self-consciousness is the opposite, it's an inwardly directed energy. When all your energy is directed inward towards yourself, all you're focused on is you. What are people thinking about you? What's somebody saying about you? Am I doing this right? Does this look right? When you're only thinking about yourself, no one is drawn to you. People are drawn to people who do what? Pay attention to them. So when you're bold, your energy is direct, directed outwardly. Your energy is directed out. You're projecting your energy. Basically, confidence is a projection of energy out to other people. You know how you can feel someone else's confidence? is because their energy is projected outward. When someone's being bold, someone's in really this mood where they're like, I'm doing whatever I got to do. I'm, I'm just all the way turned up mentally. They're not focused on themselves. They're not being self-conscious. What they're doing is focusing their energy outward on everybody else, on everything else out there or whatever it is that they're doing and that draws people's energy in because they're putting their energy out when you put your energy out the energy comes back we all know the law of karma right whatever you put out comes back to you right so when you're being bold when you're being confident you're putting your energy out there and the energy comes back when you're being self-conscious all your energy is going in towards yourself and that's why no energy comes back to you because you're only keeping it in for yourself you're hoarding your energy it's the same way the economy works. When nobody spends any money, if everybody has money but nobody spends any, then the economy doesn't grow because nobody's putting anything out. But when everybody's putting their money out, everybody's consuming and spending, the economy starts running, everybody makes more money, prices go up, but people got money for it. So number one thing you gotta understand is boldness is an outwardly directed energy. It's not an inward energy, it's an outward energy. Number two thing, sometimes I get questions about performance anxiety. Players, athletes especially come to me and they say, Dre, you know, I'm playing in this game or I play in this sport and I'm not really under, I'm not really, I'm not really performing at my highest level because I got all these people in the crowd, my mom is there, all these people are watching me and I get nervous when people are watching me, I get nervous when I gotta go speak in front of an audience because there's too many people looking. How do I get over performance anxiety? This is what you need to understand. This is what you gotta understand about performance anxiety. When you go play in a game or you go give a speech and there's a bunch of people watching you, there's a bunch of people you know they're looking at you, maybe you're on stage and you're the only one up there so you know everybody's looking at you or you're in a game and there's a thousand people in the crowd and ten people on the court, of course they're looking at you, right? Of course they're watching you, of course they're making judgments about you because humans, that's what we do, we make judgments. This is, what you, this is the mindset you need to obtain for that. They're supposed to be watching you. They are supposed to be watching you. You are the show. If you're speaking on stage or you're playing in a game, the game is a stage the same way the stage is if you go give a speech. Understand that the people in the audience showed up to watch you do your thing. They came to see you, so they're supposed to be watching you. I once heard Mike Tyson. There was an interview Mike Tyson did back when, before he had even lost the fight. He was the undefeated champion of the world. One of the, he was doing a press conference, and one of the press people said, Mike, do you ever go to other boxers' fights? and watch them fight so you can learn about the competition and see what their weaknesses are and see how you could possibly beat them. And Mike said, hell no, I never go watch another boxer fight. If anything, all these other boxers out here need to come to my fight with a pen and a pad and take some notes and take a lesson on how to box. Why would I even need to watch them? That's what, that was Mike Tyson's mindset. You need to start adapting that mindset. When you are going to perform somewhere, going to speak, going to play in the game, you need to have a mindset of you know what? It should be more people here. There's a hundred people here. It should be a thousand. There's a thousand. It should be ten thousand. Ten thousand should be a million. You want people watching you. You earned your spot. You're on the stage for some reason. Some reason you you wanted to give a speech. It's not like somebody forced you to give one. You wanted to play in the game. I mean, you tried out for the team. So you're supposed to be the one doing the show, and they're supposed to be watching you. So understand that they eliminate self consciousness. Get yourself in the frame of mind that they're supposed to be watching, not you're nervous because they're watching. And here's the third thing when it comes to self consciousness. The only reason people get that feeling of self-consciousness is when we are concerned how other people think of us, how other people are receiving us, what if we're being approved of by other people. Understand that your goal in life, your aim in life, is not to get approval from anyone else. Not from your mom, your dad, your wife, your husband, your friends, your teachers, your coaches. Your goal in life is not to get other people's approval. Your goal in life is, first of all, to be able to approve of yourself. With, and how can you approve of yourself? That means 
You've done the best you think you can do based on your potential, your assessment of your potential, not someone else's assessment, your assessment of what you are capable of, how close do you get to actually realizing that. That is what you need to, that's the approval that you need to be seeking in life, not someone else's. Now, yes, someone else can give you a suggestion. Maybe somebody can say, hey, you know what? You might be 10 times better than you think you are. Maybe you can use that. That helps you use it. But understand that your approval, your personal approval is your aim, not someone else's approval, not what someone else said, not what someone else thinks you should have did, not what someone else thinks you didn't do or someone else thinks you did it right or you did it wrong. It's your approval. So let me recap these three points. This is Dre Baldwin y'all talking to for those who checked in later. Number one, understand that boldness, confidence, that energy is outwardly directed. When you put that energy out, it comes back to you. When you hoard energy, this means you're directing it inward, only being selfish for yourself, that's self-consciousness. Only thinking about yourself and you get nothing back from only focusing energy inward. You get any, everything back from putting the energy out. Number two, when other people are watching you, you have performance anxiety. If you ever dealt with that energy, understand that they're supposed to be watching you. You are on stage for a reason. And the stage, again, can be a stage for a speech. It can be a basketball court. It can be doing a live stream video. It can be a YouTube. Everything is a stage. Writing a book is a stage. People looked at it because they want to see what you got to say. They want to hear what you have to say. They want to see what you're going to do. You're supposed to be on stage. They're supposed to be watching. Number three, you are not here to be approved of by anyone else. You're only being, you're only self-conscious when you're thinking about if other people approve of you. So if you let go of the idea that you need other people's approval, then you will no longer have to deal with self-consciousness. It'll no longer be a problem for you. My name is Dre Baldwin. For those people who don't know me, I am a mental game mindset confidence expert this is what i do i focus on this i coach people on this i write books about it i've done ted talks about it i do programs about it i got a podcast talking about it i write blogs about it every day i do youtube videos every day i do periscope streams every day about these topics so y'all want to know more about me everything you need to know is on my website it's called dreallday.com i have an online course called bulletproof mindset it's an eight week course that is all about the same mindset stuff that i've been talking about here and every day here on periscope if you are watching me for the first time welcome nice to meet you make sure you follow me on periscope because like i said i do these all the time if you listen to podcasts on my website is a link to my podcast we on soundcloud out itunes stitcher what's the other one wherever else wherever you can hear podcasts i'm on there i'm on all social media i'm on snapchat i'm on facebook i'm on twitter i'm on instagram i'm on youtube i got a lot of videos on youtube i got books on amazon i got books on ibooks i got a show if y'all heard of grant cardone i got a show on the grant cardone tv network it's called work on your game and any of y'all want to reach me directly there's a link to my email right on my website my website again is dreallday.com dreallday.com is my website yeah google play i don't even know if they put us up on google play yet but we on there but even if you can't find me on google play just hit me on soundcloud you know, y'all know SoundCloud is free. It don't cost you anything to go to SoundCloud. Podcasts are free to listen to. So make sure you check my podcast and my website. One more time, DreAllDay.com. You on Snapchat? Follow me on Snap. I'm very active on Snapchat. I'm active on all social media. Actually, I use all of them every day. I need to make my own app eventually. Well, I need somebody else to make my app is really what you're saying. I'm not the app developer. Those things take a long time to make, and you got to put in a good amount of money to find the right people. So I've tried a couple times, but couldn't find the right type of people. But maybe eventually we'll get to it but who knows what's going to be the thing in the future it might not be apps no more it might be some you know some implanted in your eye who, who knows whatever it is i'm gonna be there i'm gonna be delivering content on this mindset stuff that i talk about again my website dreallday.com hit me on social media hit me on snapchat wherever y'all at yeah google glasses whatever it's going to be listen to my podcast youtube i got a lot of content just go to my website pick and choose how you want to get it i got it Contact me directly if you need to through Snap or through email. Everybody have a great Monday. My name is Dre All Day. Work on your game. What could you not do with more confidence? Less attention to the negativity of other people. More focus on your goals than nothing else. And not letting unfortunate circumstances slow you down. Would all of those help you out? Well, go to DreAllDay.com slash Bulletproof. Check out my new eight-week course called Bulletproof Mindset. Get started, and I'll see you over there. Work on your game. If you're on Snapchat, hit me on the Snap. My Snap name is at Dre Baldwin. You already know how that works. And I got a podcast, if you didn't know. It is called Work On Your Game. It is an everyday podcast where I talk about getting yourself into the right mindset, that bulletproof mindset, getting yourself seen, heard, known, getting the exposure you want, and making things happen in your life instead of waiting for things to happen to or for you. Subscribe to that podcast. We're on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. Make sure you check it every single day. Make sure you're subscribed so you catch the heat. Work on your game.